Armides, just finished installing dinghy davits from Kingston Anchor. They sent me these to install, use, and review. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'll tell you, these are very, very substantial. Um, they're made out of marine grade stainless steel. They're electro polished. And to find out a little bit more, just visit their website. And then you can also download or look at their PDF to get a little bit more information of what's all included with this and a little bit more about the products. Well, let's take a look at what came in the box or boxes. And then I'd like to review with you the process I went through to install these. Now you can see these boom arms are really substantial compared to a lot of other dinghy davits that I see around the marina here where they have the one inch uh, pipe and then another one inch pipe and a bunch of little pieces in between. These are substantial enough you don't need all that extra material. And now the boom arms you can set them in place in two different ways where you have a higher and a lower then the base assembly or the mounting plate, the lower strut bracket, a double block pulley and hook, the boom pulley assembly for the boom arms, the 20 inch support struts, now there's a 12 foot length of uh, line and that's for crossing the lines to make the dinghy more stable when it's um, hauled up. And then of course the 25 foot length of line for lifting the dinghy. Now for supplies, here's what I used. We've got the drill, drill bits, and the drill bit that, I, that you're going to need is a 5 16 The Allen wrench is a 1 8 Then a wrench of 9 16 you might need two of those. As far as the bolts are concerned, they don't, this doesn't come with bolts because you don't know how deep everything is. But you'll need um, 16 altogether uh, of 5 16 eight for the um, mounting bracket and the main mounting bracket and eight for the um, strut bracket. Now for a backing plate they recommend you know marine grade plywood or stainless steel some type of backing plate like that. What I did is I used um, repurposed fiberglass from a boat neighbor of mine that's cutting up an old boat. So I'm using that for my backing plates. Of course, a marine grade caulking, uh, a sharpie or some kind of uh, marking pen. And then I also have this string and you'll see why I do that because I'm doing this in water and I don't want to, if I drop something or I slip, I don't want to lose the parts so I tie everything together. I also used a pair of vice grips to help hold the bolts uh, while I go below and tighten it up. And then an angle finder. Now they recommend an angle between 8 and 12 degrees of the boom arm and I did the 12 degrees. I'll show you how I did that. Well the first thing I needed to do was install the um, base bracket where the boom arms are going to go into. Kind of played around with that a little bit back and forth to see where I wanted them. And of course, you know, on boats, things are not always straight lines. So you want this backing plate to be as straight as possible so the boom arms aren't flaring out when they're attached. So what I needed to do is I put a backing plate in, or like a shim plate, on one end of it tighten that up. Now for now I just caulked that so that it was watertight and then when the weather gets better I'll pull that caulking out and I'll put thickened epoxy in there. Now if you have a little bit of an angle 
I don't think it makes that bit of a difference. I have a little bit, but it's, it's minimal. Now once I got the main bracket in place, I set the um, boom arm in there and I tied it to the rail so I could figure out the angle I need. And you need to know that so that you know where to put the support strut. So I got that set up and I went with the 12 degree, tied it off, attached the lower strut and the strut arm, marked where that was going to go, and then when I drilled the holes to minimize the amount of fiberglass, which I got virtually nothing in the water, I used a rag to catch each time I drill a hole. It's a little difficult, but it's our environment. Now with the port side installed and it looked pretty good, I went ahead and did the starboard side. Now luckily the tide had come up a little bit and I was able to work off the pier for that side of it. All right, now we're ready to install the line in the blocks. This is the uh, boom pulley here and you see there's a couple of holes on each side of this where we're going to run a line and then our double pulley that attaches to the dinghy. So let's start off with, we're going to come in here, we're going to make a big old stop or not. That's a nice substantial one. Lay our line out here. So the first thing we're going to do is come through our pulley, our double pulley. Bring that back up. I like to just pull it all out here at one time. Now we take the other working end here. And we're going to come up back down through the arm assembly. Pull that all the way through. Now if you're outside and you can hook this onto the arm, it might be a little bit easier. Come back. Our double pulley, come up, back over, come through, down. And now we have it. That's all there was to it. Go out, set this into the boom arm. It's got the pin that'll be here. And you're ready to lower and raise your dinghy. Let's sit like this on the boom arm. And then when you need to bring it up, just pull. The engineers at Kingston Anchor made this davit system easy to install. So this install was pretty straightforward. Took a little bit of time to figure out where I really wanted them and the angle of the main bracket. The most difficult part though was getting in and out of the lazarette to get the um, port side installed. To do the starboard side, I had to crawl all the way around the back of the boat, the stern of the boat, over a bunch of things. So the dock master, Buddy, did help me out with that. I got down in there, 
got things marked up and he's a good guy with this kind of stuff too. Um, he stayed on the outside, drilled the holes, put the bolts through, held them while I tightened them up. So that was a lot of help. But I think the overall project turned out really nice. And one of the reasons that I wanted to get a good set of uh, dinghy davits was I am getting a little better dinghy than what I'm showing in the picture here, what I have now. But until next time, guys, hey, happy and safe boating to you, your family, and friends.